Hey guys, we need a podcast. I think I think all of us in the team have iPhones, right? Mm. Yeah, yeah we definitely iPhone. do. Everybody here has iPhones. I, I, all tried, my I tried Android. Coming blue. I, I tried Android for a little bit. I, I, just, I tried it too. I, like, couldn't, I couldn't get with it. I tried it last summer. Uh, I had the, the Galaxy 8 or whatever. It was cool. It was clean. I liked it, but like core functionality, like group messaging, right. like mm-hmm. our group chat, right. wouldn't, mm-hmm. it just doesn't it's work. Seamless, yeah, right. It's hard. Right. Doesn't it's, it's it come different. like a like single different text and it's stuff? It's all fucked up, bro. Yeah. They got yeah. the, they, their shit is all scattered. It's always annoying, too. Like, if you're trying to create a group chat and you just assume that everyone has iPhones and you have that one friend that right. has an that Android doesn't... phone and they screw everything up and your message is like, as soon as you see that name turn green at the top, you're like, oh, oh, right. oh yeah. this yeah. person yeah. doesn't I've, have an iPhone. I've left, I've yeah. left people out of group messages just for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Apple, yeah. Apple, Apple oh, yeah. connectivity is crazy. That's why it's like if you got a whole bunch of friends and all your friends have Android, I understand you have an Android. Yeah, if everybody in your circle has Apple. It's just better to go Apple. You gotta get with the program, bro. Yeah, right. Just let's let's sync up. God, I feel like most of the time, most people like, people that use Androids, anyways, they use third party apps. Like they're gonna use Hangouts or they're gonna yeah. use like a Kick. They're, using, oh, like, yeah, they're gonna yeah, use yeah, a yeah. different right. messaging system. Also, more, more customizable for them. Exactly, it's not lit at all. Yeah, so so not live for me. <laughs> I'm so, good. So so that's and see going back to to what Reggie said, Apple's great for for connectivity between your devices, your iPad, mm-hmm. your Mac, your Apple TV, blah blah blah, mm-hmm. right? And right. your friends. Most people have iPhones. Most kids, mm-hmm. most, everybody has iPhones right. pretty much. Yeah, at this point. However, I have some smoke for Apple. Uh-oh. Mm. Because <sighs> talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about. And, and I'm just gonna use one story because it's a recent story. Uh, I had recently dropped my phone. I shattered the screen, right. and out of convenience, I didn't want to go to the Apple Store and wait six hours, get to see somebody, have to pay one seventy, whatever it is, mm-hmm. and, and, and go through that process. So out of out of convenience, I went to the little kiosks that are mm-hmm. everywhere. You know what I mean? They got mobile kiosks now that'll come. They got a van. They'll drive to you, put up, pop a new screen on, boom, in and out. That's right. a hustle. And, it, yeah. and it's cheaper. Hey, yeah. Yeah. It's cheaper and yeah, it's immediate. Those, those screens be faulty because we, I worked at T-Mobile <laughs> with you, faulty. and they used to bring <laughs> those screens, those phones with third-party screens. They'd be like, oh, yeah, I'm going to get my phone fixed, come back. And then they just got their screen fixed, and all of a sudden, they oh. can't touch anything. Now, did you, was yours Apple certified touch. or right. not like, Apple certified part? It wasn't Apple certified. And to kind of piggyback off that, the, the, the screen they put on was trash. So, like I said, let me preface, oh, let me preface yeah. with this. It was convenience. It was speed. And I had to get it done, right? Because I wanted to, to mm-hmm. switch my phone. I'll get a new one. Yeah. The long story short, I want to say like two weeks later, Apple releases a software update, right? I was trying to dodge it because I saw online that mm-hmm. this particular update, if you had a third-party screen repair, it bricked your phone. Right. Like the touch just stopped working. There's no way around it. Oh. So... Long story mm-hmm. short, had my shit plugged into the Mac. iTunes was open. It Automatic. up, automatically right. updated. I didn't request it. It just boom. It happened. Mm-hmm. So I woke mm-hmm. up. I woke up. My alarm didn't go off, and I'm trying to figure out. So I'm looking at my phone. And I can't get in. I'm like, oh fuck, the fuck is this? Mm-hmm. And then I'm like, oh shit, the update kicked in. So I go to the Apple wow. Store. Before I went to the Apple Store, I did some research, right? According to their official policy, they don't treat their third-party screens as voiding your warranty. So doing that didn't void my warranty in their eyes for their mm-hmm. policy. But when I get to the Apple store, they look at it, they're like, oh, it's a third-party screen. I'm like, yeah. And they look at me with, like, that weird face, like, oh, you went to a third-party screen? Like, is it not that serious, first of all? It's the fucking... Tell them why you Like, first of all, it's... In, he the, took his glasses so off. Glasses. For the listeners, I finally took my shades off. It was a long night last night. But, like, don't look at me funny just because you work at the Apple store. I used to work at the Apple store. Like, it's not that serious, bro. Dude, cool, I got a third party mad. screen. So I, I get it. I had to get a manager involved, right? And I explained to him politely. I was calm, <laughs> cool, collected. And I was just like, listen, you know, I know how y'all operate. I know how y'all maneuver. Y'all want to put customers first and this and that. It's a big company. They got plenty of money. They can afford this one time. I didn't request this shit. It was pushed onto my device and now I can't use it. So my only option was for them to put another new screen on at cost. So it was like mm-hmm. 279 and I was like, so you want to charge me two seventy nine dollars for your software that broke my device? Ooh, if it man. doesn't void the warranty, why do I have to pay for it? Yeah. Why am I taking that loss? It doesn't make sense to me. Well, let me, help, let me, help, let me help it make sense. Help me make sense. Help, help me make sense. Yeah, I can help I'm sense. between the, the, the fire. So right? what you got to look at this as is a business perspective. Put my shades back on. Right? So from a, like a corporate <laughs> business perspective, right? Right, right. I have a company. My warranty is on all of my products, which are Apple products, mm-hmm. right? I'm with you. Now, just because you go get a third-party screen, I'm not going to void your warranty so that your Apple products are no longer under warranty, right? You're no right. longer insured under warranty with that. But 
I'm also not going to put that warranty on a third party screen that's not an Apple product. So because your phone stopped working because of the screen. Even though it was your software that I didn't request. That works on an Apple screen. So I'm not going to pay for you to get an Apple screen now because you should have gotten an Apple screen before and you wouldn't have had the problem. But you made the decision to take the risk and go cheap. And that's what and Apple said. Phone, and that's what Apple and said. And they basically said it's your fault. Fuck out of here. Here's some backstory though, and then and then we can switch it. We can wrap it up from here. Yeah. The backstory is I found out later there's a chip under the screen, and the third party screens they don't have that chip. So when yeah. Apple wrote that software, they're looking for that chip. So yeah. they almost like purposely did this shit. Genius. And there were yeah. like thousands of people out Genius. there that, that just had bricked phones. Genius. They had to go to Apple and they had to pay that money. That's, That's why they had a plug, bro. But I guarantee you, next time their screen the breaks, the they're gonna go to Apple to get their screen fixed. Mm-hmm. And Apple's whack for that, bro. This I could. There's so yeah. many other situations oh. where like like Apple's yeah. MacBook hey, Pros. It's, it's like money, bro. bro. It's all bro. money, bro. Here's the thing. When you start, when you stop. But like when you stop feeling this self, this this like sense of entitlement from like that's not entitlement. people and businesses. That's when you get to understanding that <laughs> Apple no has nine billion dollars in the bank. That's not and entitlement, they bro. More they can afford all of business. It. They don't. They're not in the business of trying to just make you happy. They're in the business of making money. They yeah. all want to make money. It's a now business, they're gonna man. give you features and shit that you want because it's gonna keep you coming. Yeah. But at the end of the day, let's be real. Do they really care about fixing your screen when you went and got your screen it fixed was, by yeah, bro. It was a, it was a recoup of losses, right? Because right, they. Yeah. they knew that people were going to get their screens done right. somewhere else so they had to recoup the loss so they're like okay let's put up the software update they had a so we can recoup the loss so of trash. all those people that didn't buy our screen <laughs> that's so fucking Boom. trash hey that's, that's it they needed, it the, mo- hey, like they needed the money hey they needed the money they needed the money in bro. a meeting room like hey there's a problem people keep going and getting their screens fixed third party mm-hmm. now we don't make our phones this damn delicate and, and <laughs> shatter <laughs> shatterable because <laughs> they can get their shit fixed for the low we want them to bring their shit and get it fixed by apple so how can we fix this problem so Let's great chip under the screen so yeah. so great because you go to the apple store and it's 95 fucking employees not one can help you so you still got to wait six hours at the genius bar to talk mm-hmm. to a quote-unquote gen- genius quote, bar. genius bar to talk to a fucking bar. genius right <laughs> is that what they call it they genius. call them geniuses I don't bro. like that fuck shit, man. It's and there's other there's other things. But... It's because Apple's not a side bitch, bro. Apple's a main bitch, bro. Damn. Damn. <laughs> Apple knows it's worth. But you sometimes, might, you hey, know, yeah. so. sometimes you gotta cheat, though. Sometimes you gotta cheat. I, hey. Unless you're a, a loyal, loyal man like myself. I don't cheat, so I mean, I really, I'm staying with iPhone. I really wanted to take my business elsewhere because there's other things as well. This is a petty thing. There were a lot of other things, mm-hmm. and I, there's other stories. But at the end of the day, I, you can't. You're like, I'm like locked in. We're locked into these joints. I mean, yeah, so it's like, yeah. fuck. It's I mean, your life is on that shit, right? Period. <laughs> so I, don't know. I just wanted to get that off. But speaking of my iPhone, one more thing. Last night, right? Last night. Hey guys, we made a podcast.